Hello and welcome. This is B with Modern Canine Blog, where we think life is better with a dog. And today we are out here in our backyard and I thought I'd do a short video for you and share a little bit about our experiences with Apollo on reactive behavior. Now you guys may already know us from our Arizona dog friendly uh, doggy adventures. Apollo and I go out and we find all kinds of things that are dog friendly and enjoy uh, the adventure with uh, a dog by your side. And one of the main things or one of the main comments that I get from people, whether or not it's while I'm out and about uh, making videos with Apollo or when I post those videos online, is that people say, you know, that's really fun and I wish I could take my dog out, but my dog isn't well behaved and my dog just acts out on the leash. And so I don't think I can go out and do those things. And so I thought, you know what, it would be a good thing to share with you uh, some of the training that we did with Apollo. When we got Apollo in uh, the beginning, he was very, very reactive on the leash. And he would lunge and bark at other dogs. Uh, if I walked past uh, somebody's fence and they had a dog behind the fence, he would just act out and be all stupid, lunging, barking, growling. We had to uh, really, really work with him. Just wanted to share some of the things that we did, hoping that these tips may help you and may be useful for you. So here's one of the exercises that I like to do with Apollo to work on his reactive behavior. So I come here to the park and I'm on a park bench here close to where the dog park is so that I know there's gonna be people walking their dogs on the leash as they're going to and from the dog park, as well as there's a visual here. I'm close enough to the dog park that Apollo is still able to see all of that excitement of dogs running around inside the park, uh, people playing with uh, their dogs, uh, throwing balls. Uh, but at the same time, we're far enough away to where Apollo is relaxed and he is just observing, but he's not reacting, meaning he's not showing any of his reactive behavior. I find that a lot of times people um, avoid situations, uh, avoid going out to areas where they know there might be other dogs or things that would get their dog to react. The number one thing that we did with Apollo is actually we decided that we needed to expose Apollo to those situations more and more because how else are we going to be able to teach him what it is that we want him to do and what it is that we don't want him to do. So one of the things that I noticed is that I was actually the one contributing to Apollo's reactive behavior by being tense and frustrated on our walks. Just the, um, the stress and embarrassment and the tension of having a reactive dog oftentimes resulted in me uh, anticipating that Apollo would become reactive. So whenever I would see a person with another dog approaching, I would automatically be very tense and I would shorten the leash and I would pull Apollo back. And all of those things actually were just cueing Apollo to focus even more on this person that was coming up. And so he became more and more reactive to, in those situations. So one of the things that I learned is that I had to look uh, to my own body language and to what I was um, showing Apollo on our walks. And I had to work on being relaxed and realizing that I actually give cues to the dog and that he reacts to that. I believe there have been two things that have been most important in working with Apollo and his reactive behavior. The first is to walk Apollo by my side on a loose leash. And the second is to be aware of my own body language and to be relaxed and positive and in the moment when I am working with Apollo. These days, Apollo shows less and less of his reactive behavior. 
We still oftentimes will go to the dog park and I will work him just outside the dog park to desensitize him to the dogs inside. But on our outings, as we go to busy farmers markets or other busy areas, he rarely reacts to other dogs or other people. So I hope that the information in this video is useful to you and that we will encourage you uh, to go out and enjoy, have been fun with your dog, even if he is reactive. Until next time, keep your paws on the road.